Namaste. Uh, you've been hearing me talk about change the last couple of weeks because we're in the section of the sutras dealing with parinama, which is the word for change or transformation. Um, but it's a great theme um, for us because yoga is about transformation. Uh, it is built on the idea, for one thing, that everything is always changing, and that is a real reality. Um, and also, I think it's probably fair to say that most of us are here because we want to change something um, in ourselves, in our body, or otherwise. And even if you don't have a goal of changing something, then you have a goal of maintaining something so it doesn't change in a negative direction. So I'm going to take it as a given that um, we'd like to be able to affect some conscious change in our lives on some level. And there's a very um, simple technology, yoga technology, that will um, move us in that direction, which is working with the pause. Every time we breathe in, we're going to stop and pause for one or two seconds. And every time we breathe out, we'll stop and pause for two seconds at the end of the exhale. Um, reprogramming the natural inclination to just respond, just react. And over the years of teaching, um, I've had feedback from many students that this is a really profound skill. The idea that you might just take a moment before doing the next movement, before taking the next action, before saying the next word. So this is our um, bhavana today. We'll work with the pause after inhale and after exhale. Two seconds if you can do it, just one if um, two is too much. And uh, we'll start with a couple familiar postures and then go into some area that may not be as familiar. So let's begin in samastiti. The directions for the breath are the uh, same as always. Dirga Sukshma. We want the breath to be lengthened and we want it to be subtle and smooth. Dirga is long. Sukshma means subtle. So these small pauses that we take hopefully will tune the mind in but not create strain in the breath. And notice I'm not prescribing, oh, your breath should be six seconds or eight seconds or ten seconds. Um, let it be a full, complete inhale and exhale. Do measure the pause, one or two seconds. Find your comfortable, relaxed, and steady standing point here, Samastiti. Begin by connecting yourself down to the feet and feel yourself here present doing this particular activity for this particular amount of time. With the bhavana, with the intention of learning to interrupt automatic reactions. Feel the stability of the floor beneath you, and then be aware of your body. Stand tall, but without any tension in the stance. Let the crown of the head be gently lifted towards the ceiling. Softly settle your gaze on one point. Relax the shoulders. Close the lips. And begin to breathe through the nose, lengthening the breath. Smoothing the breath out. We're not expecting that it's going to end up, that it will begin the practice at its longest length here, but just begin the process of lengthening it. To help that along, we'll gently constrict the throat like you're whispering ah, breathing ujjayi breath. And as you exhale, use your abdominal muscles to pull the belly in, which will help support the upward motion of the diaphragm. Soften the shoulders. Feel the chest expand gently as you inhale. And notice the breath coming in and expanding downwards, outwards. And soften the belly at the end of the inhale. And 
gently engage the abdominals as you support that long extended exhale. Relax the shoulders and then take a pause. And then gently inhale without allowing the, the air to gush in. Slowly draw it in. Take a pause at the end of the inhale as well. Take a couple more breaths like this. Tuning into the flow of the breath. The supported and lengthened and smooth breath with the relaxed pause of one or two seconds after both the inhale and the exhale. It's helpful to think of the breath continuing to be moving in after you pause after your inhale and the effort of the belly drawing to the spine remain as you pause after your exhale. Bring the gaze focused, we'll begin with Tadasana. You may choose to lift your heels or not as we move the arms out to the sides and up, focusing on the pause after the inhale, after the exhale. As we inhale, we'll float the arms out and up and lift the heels gently away from the floor, keeping the gaze steady. Pause at the top. Draw the belly in towards the spine, lower the arms, lower the heels. Feel the abdominal muscles pull gently in, relax the shoulders and pause for a moment with the breath out. And then again, inhale, float the arms up, lift the heels, feel the expansion of the chest and the belly. Keep the gaze steady as you pause for two. Draw the navel in, lower the arms and the heels down in time with your breath. Keep the support of the belly going as you relax the shoulders and pause with the breath out for two. Again, inhale, float up. And pause for two at the end of the inhale. Exhale and slowly come down. Keep the belly engaged and the shoulders soft. Pause with the breath out for two. Do that one more time. As you're ready, relax the breath. Return your attention to the Samasthiti, the steady, relaxed, balanced pose, standing well, balanced on your feet, tall without any tension, soft, steady gaze. And let's follow the same scheme as we go into the forward bend. Inhale, raise both arms forward and up. At the top, we'll pause for two. With the exhale, hug the belly in. Bend yourself slowly forward, keeping the balance, even front and back of the feet. Relax your neck and shoulders, pause for two. Inhale, float the arms forward, open the chest, bring yourself slowly to the top. Pause for two. And as you exhale, bring your arms down to the front and pause for two with the breath out. Inhale, float the arms forward and up, keeping a soft and steady gaze. Imagine the breath continuing to flow in as you pause. Hug the belly to the spine as you bend down, relaxing the neck and shoulders as you come into the forward bend. Pause for two, your belly button's pulled up gently. Inhale, float the arms forward, Make sure you're opening your chest on the way up. Pause for two. Draw the belly towards the spine as the arms come down the front on exhale. And keep that engagement in the belly as your shoulders soften. You pause for two with the breath out. Two more times. Inhale, arms forward and up. Pause two. Exhale, draw the navel in. Fold down. Pause two. Inhale, flow up to the top. Pause for two. And lower the arms down the front with exhale. Pause for two. One more time. 
Inhale, arms forward and up. And pause for two. Draw the navel to the spine and fold down slowly, lengthening the breath. Keep the abdominals engaged as you pause for two. Float up to the top as you inhale. Pause for two at the top. And exhale the arms slowly down the front, belly hugging to spine. Pause for two. And relax the breath. Find your samastiti. Try to have the body remain still when we finish the pose and come to samastiti. One of our uh, natural reactions is often to rearrange or wiggle around or fix something. See if you can find a point of comfort and stillness without that rearrangement. And if you do need to fix your shirt or scratch an itch, pause before you do it. Make sure that you actually need to do that and then you're deciding to do it. All right, let's combine Virabhadrasana and Parjvottanasana. Place the hands on the hips, keeping the pelvis steady. Turn the right leg slightly out in the socket and step your left foot forward. Left foot a little bit wider if you like. Find a good steady stance. You want to feel connection down through both feet and both hips square to the wall in front of you. So you're going to feel like you're pulling your right hip forward most likely. Hero pose and the asymmetrical forward bend. We have two poses here, a little bit more complicated. Staying with the bhavana, pausing for two seconds after the inhale and after the exhale. With inhale, raise the arms forward and up as you bend your front knee. Let your chest open and expand. Imagine the breath still coming in as you pause. And then with the exhale, we're going to straighten the front leg and fold down. Bring the hands onto the leg, the foot or the floor. Don't strain the back to get anywhere in particular. Pause for two. And then with inhale, stretch your arms forward, bend your knee. Lift back up onto the hero pose. Pause for two. And then lower the arms down the front as you straighten the front leg. Pause for two at the end of the exhale. Check that the hips are square. And we'll do it three more times. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Bend the front knee. Open the front of the body. Pause, imagine the breath coming in. Exhale, draw the navel in. Straighten the front leg. Fold yourself down. Belly to spine as you pause. Then inhale, float the arms forward, bend the knee, open the chest. Lifting the breastbone off away from the navel. Pause. And exhale, lower the arms, straighten the leg. Square the pelvis, relax the shoulders. Twice more. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up, bend the front knee. Opening the front of the body. Imagine the breath coming in as you pause. Draw the navel to the spine as you fold forward. Straighten the front leg. Keep the belly hugged up. Relax the shoulders as you pause. And then bend the knee. Raise yourself up to the top. Opening the front of the body. And pause for two. Exhale, lower the arms down the front as you straighten the front leg. And pause for two. One last time on this side. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Bend the front knee. Open the chest. Pause for two. Draw the navel in. Straighten the leg. Fold down. Pause for two. Inhale, raise the arms. Bend the knee. Lift and open. Pause for two. And draw the navel into the spine as you lower down. Straightening the leg. Pause for two, square the pelvis, relax the shoulders, and relax the breath. Step the left foot back to join the right and line the feet up. Return to Samastiti with as little rearranging as possible. Settle into your relaxed, comfortable balance.
as you're allowing the breath to move naturally for a few breaths, tune into the body. Even though we just did an asymmetrical pose, stand evenly on both feet. Notice any automatic kicks, inclinations to move, fix something. See if you can relax into that instead of responding to it. Let's do the other side. Keeping the hips still, we'll externally rotate the left leg in the socket just a little bit and step the right foot forward. And again, if you like, the right foot can go a little wider to the right and then settle into your stance on both feet. Feel the lift of the crown of the head, the relaxation of the shoulders, the solidity of the legs, the contact of the feet against the floor. Four repetitions. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up as you bend the front knee. At the end of the inhale, we pause for two. Exhale, then draw the navel in and bend forward, straighten the leg. Hands on the leg, the foot, the floor, wherever they comfortably come. Pause for two. And then inhale, raise the arms, bend the knees, lift up and open. Pausing for two at the top. Hug the belly in as you lower the arms and straighten the leg. Relax the shoulders. Steady the gaze. Pause for two. Again, inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Bending the front knee, opening the front body, standing nice and even on both feet. Pause for two. Draw the navel in as you bend down and straighten the front leg. Relax the neck and shoulder. Pause for two. Belly stays up towards the spine. Inhale, raise the arms, bend the knees, lift and open. Feel both of your feet underneath you and lift up from them. Pause for two, hug the belly in with the exhale. Lower the arms down the front, straighten the front leg. Relax the shoulders, keep the belly full to the spine as you pause for two. Two more times. Inhale, raise the arms, bend the knee, open the front body, pause two. Exhale, pull the navel in, bend forward, straighten the front knee, drop your left hip down slightly, pause for two. Inhale, lift and open, bending the front knee as you come up, pause for two. Draw the belly in as you exhale, arm down, leg straight, relax the shoulders, keep the navel drawn towards the spine as you pause for two. Try the last repetition on your own. When you're going to relax the back, step the right foot back to join the left with the intention of coming to Samastiti with as little rearrangement as possible and relaxing into the steady balance. So the aspects of property, of manifest reality that are always moving, rearranging, rebalancing themselves are the gunas. You've heard me talk about them before, tamas being heaviness and inertia, rajas, movement and activity, and sattva, stillness and clarity. So when we are taking our, an asana practice where we're moving, but then in, inserting these moments of stillness, we're decreasing the rajas, the tendency to move around and fidget, um, and the tendency of the mind to move around and out, um, and focusing for a moment in a moment of stillness. So reducing rajas and increasing sattva.
when you're when the sattva is taking precedence over the rajas, you'll feel calmer. And if you encounter some situation, um, whether with another person or some frustration, you won't be so quick to feel aggravated, irritated, um, and explode. Rajas would make you do that. If you have sattva dominating, you'll be able to take in the situation a little bit more slowly and calmly and probably respond in a way that you prefer, actually. Okay, let's take the half squat, Ardha Utkatasana. Keep with the pausing. Inhale, raise both arms forward and up. And pause for two at the top. With your exhale, bend the knees, fold down, hands can come onto the knees or the feet or the floor. Pause for two with the breath down. And then with the inhale, raise the arms, lift the chest up, straighten the legs, pause at the top, and exhale, slowly bring your arms down the front. If you're drawing the belly to the spine, even though we're not bending forward, pause for two, keeping that engagement. Three more times. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. Pause two at the top. Hug the belly into the spine as you bend the knees, fold down. Pause two with the breath out. And then inhale slowly, make the arms forward. Open the chest, lift, open, pause. Exhale from the belly, lower the arms down the front. Relax the shoulders, keep the gaze steady. The belly engaged as you pause for two. Twice more. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. And pause. Exhale, draw the belly in, fold down, relax the neck and shoulders, pause. Inhale, float to the top. And pause. Draw the navel to the spine, exhale the arms down the front, relax the shoulders away from the ears, keep the belly drawn in and pause. Try the last one on your own. Namastiti. Release any excess, excess tension in the body. You bring just enough energy to stand upright, not clenching anything unnecessarily, finding the ease and the steadiness. to um, Trikonasana and do a version of Uttita Trikonasana, extended triangle. So I'd like you to please watch. It's a little different from what we usually do and there's a sort of complicated um, detail. So just watch for one and I'll explain. Um, we're going to start by inhaling, taking the arms wide and exhaling, bending down to the side. This is all as usual. But then we're going to inhale and reach the top arm over the ear as far across the room as possible, looking at the hand. And then, here's the tricky part, we're going to take the hand behind, not turning it inward, but trying to turn it out so it's like you're sticking your thumb out towards the wall behind you and bringing it down behind you. We're going to keep the, hand, the head moving as though it can look at the hand. At a certain point, you're probably going to lose sight of it. And then we're going to bring ourselves back up on the inhale. So I'm going to show you that one more time. Um, and maybe I will show you from the back so you can see what's going on with the hand. So we inhale and exhale. 
Inhale, reach the hand up and over. Follow with the eyes, and then keep following with your eyes. And you're gonna turn the hand with your thumb behind you and bring it down. So it's like you're trying to turn your palm towards the wall behind you, turning up over the top, not rolling in. External rotation the whole time. Then inhale up, and exhale down. All right. <clears throat> Let's try it again. We'll keep pausing. So bringing the hands on the hips, steady the pelvis, turn the right leg out, I'm sorry, the left leg out in the socket, and lift tall through the crown of the head. With the inhale, we'll take the arms wide, turn the palms forward. This is that external rotation in the arm socket. As you exhale, we're gonna bend the left hand down to the left leg, and then reach the hand over towards the wall on the left as far as you can. Keep your eyes on your palm, and then as you exhale, bring your hand down behind you. Imagine you can keep looking at it. Thumb is pointing towards the back wall. With the inhale, stand yourself back up. And then with the exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. Let's try it three more times. Inhale, arms wide. And pause. Exhale, bend to the left, and pause. Inhale, reach the right arm over to the left wall, eyes on the hand, and pause. Exhale, bring your hand down towards the wall behind you, pointing your thumb towards the wall behind you. Keep your head turned up and pause. Then with the inhale, we'll stand back up, take the arms wide, and exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. Try it twice more. Getting a big stretch in the shoulder and neck. Inhale, arms wide. And pause. Exhale, side bend to the left. And pause. Inhale, reach the arm over towards the wall on the left. Pause. Exhale, bring your hand down towards the wall behind you, pointing your thumb back. Your palm is going to be up. And pause. Then inhale, stand up into the center. And exhale, slowly lower your arms down to the sides. Do that one more time on this side. Inhale, arms come wide. And pause. And exhale, side bend. And pause. Inhale, reach the arm as far to the left as possible and pause. And then exhale, bring it down towards the wall behind you, pointing your thumb back and pause. Inhale, lift up to the top and pause. Exhale, bring the arms down. Pause. And unrotate that left leg. We'll step to Samastiti. Settling for a moment here, relax the breath. Feel the floor underneath you. Feel the body standing tall, steady, and at ease. Let the breath move slowly, slowly and keep the attention in the body. Okay, let's bring the legs wide again. Keeping the hips square, we'll roll the right leg out in the socket. Feel yourself standing well on both feet and tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, bring the arms out wide, palms forward, and pause. Exhale, side bend to the right side, and pause. Inhale, take your left arm over towards the wall on the right side as far as you can, and pause. And then exhale, bring your hand behind you. 
Imagine you keep looking at the hand with your eyes. Pelvis towards the uh, ceiling, thumb behind you. Inhale, lift yourself up to the center. And exhale, arms down to the sides. Three more. Inhale, float the arms out wide. Pause for two. Exhale and side, bend to the right leg. Pause for two. Inhale, reach the arm as far to the right as you can and pause for two. Then exhale the hand down behind you. Thumb pointing towards the back wall, palm towards the ceiling. Pause for two. Inhale, lift up to the top. And exhale, lower the arms down. Two more times. Inhale, bring the arms out wide. And pause. Exhale, side bend to the right. Pause. Inhale, stretch to the right. And pause. Exhale, hand down behind you, thumb pointing back, palm up, and pause. Inhale and lift to the top. Pause. Exhale, bring the arms down, and pause. Last one. Inhale, pick the arms out wide, and pause. Exhale, side bend right. Pause. Inhale, reach the arm to the right wall. Pause. Exhale, bring the hand down behind you, thumb pointing back. And pause. Inhale and lift up to the center. And pause. Exhale, lower the arms down. Pause. And then relax. Unrotate the right leg. Come to Samastiti. Find yourself in your relaxed balance. Let your attention move down through both feet into the floor. And then up through both legs through the center line of the body, all the way to the crown of the head. Soften the shoulders, relax the breath. Be here in the body, in this moment. Let the breath breathe itself. Bring the legs wide again. Preparing for the wide-legged forward bend, we're going to, for the first time in this practice, go into a pose and stay for four breaths rather than moving in and out. We'll still work with the pause. Inhale, raise the arms forward and up. And pause as though the breath is still coming in. Exhale, fold down the center. Relax the neck. Pause with the breath out. Begin four breaths here, inhaling. Pausing and then exhale, belly to spine, relaxing the neck. Keep your belly button hugged up as you pause. Three more breaths, inhale slowly. Pause. And exhale from the belly. And pause. Please do two more breaths on your own. Continue to pause.
As you're ready, inhale the arms to the front, lift yourself all the way to the top, and pause. Then exhale, arms slowly down the front. Final pause. And relax the back. Step to Samastiti. Settle into calm, relaxed, present stillness. Come down to stand on the knees for sweeping arms Vajrasana. And we're going to include a turn of the head when we're in the forward bent position. So you may either start it by sitting down on your heels or standing on your knees, whichever works better for your um, knees and hips. In either case, let's bring the hands behind the back. Continuing to work with two second pause after the inhale and the exhale. With inhale, float the arms out to the sides and up. Stand tall in the knees, open the front of the body. Pause it so the breath is still coming in. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, fold yourself forward, turn your head to the left, and pause with the breath out. Then with the inhale, open the arms out to the sides and up. Stand tall, open the front body. Pause for two. And with exhale, bend down, bring the hands to the back, turn the face over to the right. Pause with the breath out for two. And up again with the inhale. Open, lift the front body. And pause. And exhale, fold down, bring the hands behind the back, turn the face over to the left side. Pause with the breath out. And inhale all the way up to the top, opening the chest, pause, exhale, fold down, bring the hands behind the back as you turn the face to the right, and pause, inhale and lift up to the top, pause, and with the exhale we're just bringing the arms down without bending forward to finish that little vinyasa, relax the breath, Now we're going to come onto the stomach. Place the hands underneath the forehead. Feet as wide as it feels comfortable for you. Relax the front of the body down into the floor. Let the breath breathe itself for a moment. Now we're going to bring the right hand down and place it on the outside of the right thigh. So the palms against the outside of the right thigh. Turn your face so you're looking at your left elbow. I'm going to glue the hand to the head and to the leg. So the right hand's going to keep touching the outside of the right thigh. Left hand's going to keep touching the head as we do a little back bend. We'll keep using the pause. With inhale, raise the upper body. That's the chest, the head. And then the raise the right arm, I'm sorry, the right leg and pause. And then as you exhale, lower back down and pause. Again, inhale, raise the upper body. You're still looking to the left. 
Lift the right leg and pause. Small lift. Let that sound lower down slowly. Keep your belly hugged into the spine as you pause. Place more. Inhale. Lift the upper body and the right leg. Pause. Slowly down with the exhale. Put belly to spine. Pause. One last time. Inhale. Lift. Pause. And exhale, lower. Pause. Bring your right hand back underneath the forehead and turn the head into the center. Relax. Let the body relax into the floor. Let the breath breathe itself. Give the mind the task of observing rather than criticizing, judging, analyzing, defining. Just let it observe. All right, we're going to bring the left hand down and put on the outside of the left leg and turn the face to look at the right elbow. And again, the hands are going to stay attached to whichever part of the body that they're touching now as we do the movement. With the inhale, raise the upper body and lift the left leg. You're still looking to the right. Pause. And then as you exhale, lower down. Pull the belly in and pause. Again, inhale. Raise the upper body, that includes the right arm and the left leg. Pause. And then as you exhale, lower yourself back down and pause two more times. Inhale, lift and open and pause. Hug the belly in with the exhale, lower down and pause. Last time, inhale to lift and pause. And exhale to lower and pause. And bring both hands underneath the forehead again, head to the center, relax. rise to all fours. And work with Chakra Bakasana, including the pause. Breathing in slowly through the nose, open the chest, pause for two. Exhale, hug the belly and tuck your tail, bend your elbows, move your hips back slowly. Pause with the breath out. Again with the inhale, rise up onto all fours. Open the chest and pause. Exhale, tuck the tail, hug the belly, bend the elbows as you bring the hips back. Keep the breath out comfortably. Twice more, inhale, lift, open. Pause as the breath is still coming in. Exhale, tuck the tail, hug the belly, hips back to heels, relax the neck and shoulders. Pause as the breath is still going out. Twice, or sorry, one more time. After the pause, stay in the child's pose, but relax the breath.
onto the back now. Come onto the back with the knees bent feet on the floor. Taking a moment to find the release into gravity. Letting the breath breathe at its own pace and relaxing the body as much as possible into the pull of gravity. prepare for a vinyasa based on Dvipada Pitam, the desk pose. So a little bit different from what you're used to. We're going to continue to include the pauses. Do not use a pillow behind your head for this particular um, sequence. With the inhale, we'll raise the arms all the way up and back towards the floor behind you and pause. With the exhale, pull the belly and push into the feet and raise the hips towards the ceiling. Pause, let the breath out, then we'll stay here and inhale. Let the breath come in slowly. Feel your chest expand and your belly expand and pause. Then with the exhale, draw the belly into the spine. Bring your hips down, but leave your arms back where they were. And pause with the breath out. We stay and inhale, relax into gravity. And pause. Then exhale, draw the belly in and bring your arms down slowly to the sides. Pause with the breath out. Three more times. Inhale, take the arms up and back. And pause. Exhale, engage the belly, press into the feet, raise the hips up, pause with the breath out. We're going to stay and inhale slowly, pause, then exhale, keep the arms there and bring your hips down, pull the belly in, pause with the breath out, and inhale, stay here, relax into gravity. And pause. Exhale, hug the belly, lower the arms down to the sides. Keep the abdominals engaged as you pause. Two more times. Inhale, raise the arms up and back. And pause. Exhale, engage the belly, press into the feet, lift your hips up. Keep the belly firm as you pause. Stay there, breathe in, fill the chest. Then fill the belly and pause. Exhale, keeping the arms where they are, lower the hips down, belly to spine. Pause with the breath out. Stay here, relax into gravity with inhale. And pause. Exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. And pause. Last time, inhale, arms up and back, and pause. Exhale, raise the hips, pause with the breath out. Stay and inhale, and pause. Exhale, bring the hips down. Pause. Inhale, relax into gravity. Pause. And exhale, lower the arms down. Pause. 
relax the breath. Soften and release here. If your lower back is asking for it, you can draw your knees into your chest. Or if you'd be more comfortable with your legs straight out on the mat, go ahead and do that. Release the breath and let it breathe itself for a few cycles. Now when the breath breathes itself, you may or may not notice pauses. Just observe. Do a variation, um, which is probably new to you. Uh, you may want a blanket for underneath your head for this one. And we're going to start by lying on the left side. So we're doing a shoulder opening pec stretch. Um, there's two variations. One is that you can move your fingertips close to the floor, along the floor, and gradually open that way. Um, if that's too intense, you're going to raise your arm towards the ceiling instead and gradually open in that direction. Now we're going to start by lying on the left side. You may want the blanket under your head or just extend the left arm out under your ear, whichever feels more comfortable. Oh, sorry, no, we're going to bring the left arm in front of us. Um, this is why the blanket's nice. So left arm in front of us and then stack the palms one on top of the other. So we're beginning with the knees stacked and the palms stacked so our hips and shoulders are in line. Move in small increments here, and we're working to open the right shoulder in this case. So with the inhale, you're going to move your right hand up in front of you, and then pause. You stay there and exhale. And then with the inhale, Take the arm a little bit farther in its sweep, opening out your on or near the floor with your fingertips, and then stay with your exhale. Inhale, open out a little bit farther, and pause. Stay with the exhale. One more inhale, open out a little bit farther, and pause. And this time with the exhale, we'll bring the hands back together. So you can be sweeping the arm overhead direction, or if that's too much, you're going to bring your hand up towards the ceiling and open out that way. So we're going to try that a couple more times. With the inhale, take the right arm either a little farther overhead or up towards the ceiling and pause. Stay there and exhale. With the inhale, stretch the arm a little bit farther overhead or a little bit more towards the wall behind you and pause. Stay there and exhale. Inhale, open out a little bit farther. Pause and stay and exhale. One more increment. Inhale, open. Pause. And then with the exhale, return the right hand over on top of the left. So if you need more stretch by any chance um, in the shoulder, you can make sure that your knees stay stacked and don't displace the hips. If you need less, just move up instead of overhead. So twice more. Inhale, you'll find a little bit of stretch and opening, um, bringing the arm towards overhead, pausing there and staying with exhale. Inhale, open a little bit more and pause, and stay with the exhale. Inhale, open a little bit further, pause, and stay with the exhale. Last increment, inhale, open the right armpit, pause, and then exhale, stack the hands up again. One more time. Inhale, 
Place the right arm overhead or towards the ceiling and pause. Stay there and exhale. Inhale, open a bit further. Pause, then stay and exhale. And inhale, open a little further and pause. Stay with the exhale, one more inhale. Inhale, open and pause. And exhale, bring the hands back on top of the left, right hand back on top of the left and relax a moment. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just gonna lie on the right side. Press the pillow under your head. Knees comfortably bent. Bring the right hand straight out in front of you and stack the left on top of it. We're beginning with the shoulders and the knees, hips stacked. So do what's workable for your shoulder. With the inhale, Take the left arm up overhead and pause. Then stay there and exhale. And inhale, sweep the arm a little bit farther overhead. Pause. Stay while you exhale. Inhale a little bit farther. Pause. Stay with exhale. Last increment, inhale, pause. And then with the exhale, bring the left hand back over onto the right. And we'll do it again, inhale. Sweep the left arm a little bit overhead and pause. Stay there while you exhale. Inhale and open a little bit further, pause. Stay with the exhale. Inhale, move the arm a little bit farther, pause, stay with the exhale. One more inhale, pause, and then exhale, bring the left hand over on top of the right again, twice more. You still free to move up towards the ceiling if overhead's not working. Inhale, stretch the left arm, and pause. Stay there with the exhale. Inhale, stretch a little farther. Pause and stay with exhale. Inhale, move a little bit farther. Pause, stay and exhale. Last inhale. Pause. And bring the left hand over to the right. One more repetition. Inhale, reach overhead. Pause. Stay and exhale. Inhale a little farther. Pause. Stay and exhale. Pause. Inhale a little farther. Pause, and exhale, pause, and last inhale, pause, and exhale, bring the left hand over to the right, relax the breath, and move over onto your back, hug the knees into the chest, One hand on each knee. Relax the neck and shoulders. Relax the feet. Relax the face. Preparing for four repetitions of Asanasana. Continuing to work with the pause, which you may extend a little bit longer to three or four seconds if you like. With the inhale, We'll rock the knees out away from the chest until the elbows are straight, the shoulders stay relaxed. Pause. 
With the exhale, pull the belly in, pull the thighs in, relax the shoulders, stretch the back gently, pause. Inhale and rock the knees away, breathing into the chest and into the belly, pause. Draw the belly in, hug the knees in close. Gently stretch the back, but relax the shoulders, the face, the feet. Pause with the breath out. Again, inhale, float the knees away. Pause. And exhale, pull the belly in. Pause. One more time. As you're ready, feet come down to the floor. And then stretch yourself out long into Shavasana, final relaxation. Settle yourself comfortably. Feet about as wide as the mat. Hands a little bit wider than the mat. Turn the palms up. We did a lot of shoulder opening. Feel that softness, openness in the chest. Relax the neck, support the head if that's helpful. As you're getting settled, slowly turn the head from one side to the other. Letting the body settle comfortably into a relaxed position where you can be still for about five minutes. Once the body is comfortably organized, we'll let it stay and drop into gravity. Feel the support of the floor. Shift the attention to the breath, breathing itself. Breathing in, breathing out. Perhaps there's going to be some pause, perhaps not. But however the breath presents now, let it do that. Keep the mind observant and present.
Notice the breath. It's been breathing the whole time. Slowly, gently deepen it and let that deepened breath lead you into a stretch. And as you're ready, we'll transition to the right side. Hugging the knees for a moment there and then bringing yourself up to sit comfortably. Find a relaxed and comfortable seat supported by a cushion or a chair. Let the spine be lifted so that the chest is open. Relax the shoulders. We'll take a simple pranayama, inhaling and pausing, exhaling and pausing. You could do the same pause technique with a nostril tech, um, nostril breathing if you like, but we'll keep it very simple today. Concentrating on the pause, that stillness and the quality that goes there. So when we breathe in, instead of cramping down the throat and getting tense around that pause, we just imagine the breath continuing to, to come in like you suspended it for a moment. And then when you breathe out, yes, we do have the support of the belly, but the shoulders also soften. And then there's a real moment at the end of the exhale when you pause with the breath out where just nothing is happening. And then make the transition into the next breath smoothly and gently. So we'll sit with the eyes closed, the lips gently closed, the throat slightly constricted for the ujjayi breath. And let the breath long and smooth come in through the nose, fill in through the throat down and open the ribs, breathe down to the belly. Imagine the breath still coming in on you. Pause for a moment. And engage the belly. Gently hug the belly in. Feel the breath being supported up and out as you relax the shoulders. Keep the face and the neck and the jaw face uh, soft. Pause with the breath out. And breathe in again as you're ready. Slow, gentle breath in. Just Bend for a moment at the end of the inhale. And begin the exhale by hugging the belly. Keeping the belly hugged in, the shoulders soft, the face soft. Breath is held out gently, nothing happening for a moment. Continue on your own. The active phase of the breath, long and smooth. And then the pause, relaxed and still. Tune into that still point that follows both the inhale and the exhale.
Once you've completed that, an exhale and the hold that follows it, relax the breath. Observe the breath as it breathes itself. As you go through your day, think of this very simple technology, this profound technique of taking a moment, pausing, so that when you encounter some frustration with an inanimate object or um, some irritation with a, another person, instead of just blurting, there's a moment of consideration before the next thing happens. Before we open the eyes, I'd like you to just internally observe for a moment. Notice to what degree the quality of sattva, of stillness, calmness seems to have risen to the top for a moment. Arizonas are constantly rearranging, so we don't hold on to any one state, but uh, it's important to know what helps to bring us to a place where we are more calm. We can act with more clarity. And slowly open the eyes. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Namaste. Thank you. I wish you a good week and actually I wish you a good two weeks. Um, I will not be here live next Tuesday morning. Uh, there are lots of classes you can access in this um, feed. So I hope that if it's your habit to come on Tuesday morning that you'll um, find a class and continue to keep that habit up. And um, I will be back live here in two weeks. Right. Thanks again. Namaste.